Welcome back to Bravo von Mueller Chronicles number 31. Today our story is about the war on cash. The drills begin. Today is July 31st, Sunday, 2022. I am putting together a briefing on the Sachs brothers as I speak and will upload that video to my Bravo von Mueller channel in about an hour or so. So in that video to come, it's going to be uploaded on my other main channel, I describe how the New World Powers will bring down the American Roman Empire by choking her of her oxygen. Her oxygen is cash flow. So it's going to be a somewhat long war of many, many small little battles. But every battle will all have this, every battle will have the same M.O. They will all have one thing in common. Choke America of her oxygen. And again, her oxygen is her cash money flow. It will be a slow, painful death. So when I say the drills begin, we start with the eight countries there, eight countries, Canada, Finland, Israel, New Zealand, Singapore, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. Those eight countries have formed together to put the steroids on, to put the boosters on, the war on cash. So now the video I talked about, about the Sachs brothers, which I will be uploading to my main channel in a little bit, it all ties together with this, okay? The Sachs brothers are rich money changers. They're world citizens. And the Chinese and the Russians have ways of getting to the Sachs brothers or any of the money changers. So everything that the new world powers do, they will be looking for people like the Sachs brothers and other high, powerful people in the cabal. And they will use these people in the cabal to choke America of her cash flow. Now, starting on August 1st, they're going to, they're starting the drills in Israel also, as Tamar Bracha says. Tamar Bracha is responsible for carrying out this new law in Israel. We want the public to reduce the use of cash. Says that right there. She they do not want you to use cash money, Tamar says. And the, and the law starts in Israel in August 1st. So let's dig a little deeper. Back when they passed this law in Israel, uh, there were over a million people in that country with no bank account. They literally, they essentially turned 10% of the population into criminals overnight simply because they don't have a bank account. Just because, like, 10% of the population don't want to get in bed with the filthy banks, and all of a sudden, you are a criminal in that country. But, of course, the powerful rabbis who have mastered the numbers in the Kabbalah are exempt from this law, and they can take all the large cash donations that they want. <laughs> you, you go figure. I wish it was funny, but it, it really it's really not funny at all. These laws don't really hurt the big-time criminals who laugh at the laws. If you want something to laugh at, it's the, the criminals are laughing when they make these stupid laws. The, the criminals laugh at the laws. No, these type of tyrannical laws hurt the poor people to keep the slave class in check. So when it comes right down to it, once you begin to understand that the elites and the powers to be work with the criminals, well, then you start to understand a lot better who the laws are directed at. The laws are directed at you and I, the poor people. So, in closing of this chronicle number 31, Choke America Out, I will leave you with this. All of us regulars to these briefings, we understand the power the money changers have here in America. But just in case, the rare chance that we have a newbie in our briefing room today, let me explain how this happens. How these laws eventually 
these bureaucratic rules make it to America. Now, what we're talking about today is August 1st in Israel, the war on cash gets stronger. New law in Israel. I've showed you the other eight countries that are involved in their little pact. This will expand. Of course, um, in the UK, it looks like the money changers have complete control of the UK now. I would suspect that in the future, the Irish will fight this at the right time. But I want let me explain this to the newbies, how this works. How does this come over? How do these rules... You say, oh, well, this is in Israel, bravo. What the hell are you talking about? We're in America, God damn it. Well, let me explain it to the newbies, how these regulations cross the borders, cross the ocean, and how they get over here. For example, we're all familiar with uh, when you come into contact with the men in blue, uh, especially the lower classes. When the lower classes come into contact with the men in blue, they have the badges, they have the guns, and they don't follow instructions. Well, we're, we're all familiar how the men in blue choke out the lower class. I mean, if you, don't, if you do not follow orders, if you do not follow directions, they have a technique where they were to choke you out, choke your oxygen out. We all... Uh, I'm getting emergency alerts for rain in the desert. Jesus Christ, I hate those things. Um, anyhow, um, where was I at? Okay, so we're all familiar with how law enforcement chokes out the lower classes when they do not follow instructions. Okay, but what you may not understand is how the law enforcement officers in America, all across America, how did they learn that technique, the choking out of the lower class? when they get uppity and they don't listen. That technique was actually taught to them by the Mossad. So we've got an intelligence agency in a foreign country who crisscrossed America and taught our law enforcement officers the technique, this is the way you're going to choke out the lower class when they do not listen to you. And this was a procedure, schooling that went on for years and years and years up until just recently. And now all hell's broken loose on that uh, choking out the people. I'm not a big fan of choking out people. I mean, I would much rather just throw a net over somebody. You remember, remember those movies, uh, Planet of the Apes? I mean, <laughs> it'd be safer just to throw a net over somebody than to choke them out or stun them or shoot them. I mean, uh, again... But remember, all the laws are directed towards the poor people. What I'm trying to say to you, what happens in these foreign countries, you say, well, they'll never come to America, bravo. You can get that through your thick little head. Well, no, no, you'd be wrong. Th these drills start in all the, in the smaller countries, and eventually they work it over here. There was no law passed in Congress. There was no law passed in the Senate that gave the Mossad the authority to crisscross our country and train our law enforcement how to choke out the lower class. There was no law passed in America. That was done through a bureaucratic chain of command. Now you know how these things eventually do work their way to America, and they do it behind closed doors. You don't even know about it. So that's it for Chronicle number 31, War on Cash. The drills begin.